Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Boys of Malinki. Today we will talk about reproduction in algae. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So basically, there are three types of reproduction in algae: vegetative, asexual, and sexual. So first, we will talk about vegetative reproduction. Vegetative reproduction occurs in plants. in which a new plant grows from a fragment of the parent plant this process is called fragmentation so we can say this is the parent plant fragmentation is occurring here and the new daughter plant is generated from this fragmented part this is called vegetative reproduction and fragmentation next mode of reproduction is asexual So in algae asexual reproduction occurs by the production of zoospores asexual reproduction occurs in chlamydomonas we are taking chlamydomonas as the example here chlamydomonas is a haploid and unicellular algae it is haploid because it has only one set of chromosome so now we will see this reproduction so each parent cell this is the parent cell this is only one cell it is unicellular so this parent cell which is haploid in it loses its flagella this is the flagella and this parent cell is losing its flagella here so this parent cell is now without flagella so this is the first step it will lose its flagella later it undergoes two subsequent mitotic division or two mitosis will occur so it had only one cell so after one mitotic division one cell will become two and one more mitosis will occur so that will form four such cells so after two round of mitotic divisions four such cells will be formed so formation of four daughter cells here and each of them is haploid because we know that mitotic division or mitosis will yield the cell that will have same chromosome number same chromosome number so the chromosome number remains same so here four daughter cells are produced from this parent cell and all of them are haploid okay now what will happen this parent cell will rupture so parent cell now ruptures and when this parent cell will rupture these four daughter cells are now coming out of this parent cell now what will happen they will form the cell wall and flagella and now they are called as zoospores so all of them are now called as zoospores now they will germinate and when they will germinate each zoospore will form this parent cell again or the adult or the adult so each zoospore will form the adult cell so in this way algae reproduce by the asexual mode of reproduction now we will talk about sexual reproduction so sexual reproduction takes place through fusion of two gametes here always fusion of two gametes will be there that is called sexual reproduction now different types of gametes we can see here so first you can see these two gametes are similar in their size shape so they are similar in their morphology and both of them are having flagella example you can see this types of gametes in eulothrix and one more thing here you can see here that these two gametes are also 
similar in their morphology they do not have any flagella both are similar so you can see this type of uh, gametes in spirogyra now fusion between these two gametes will called isogamous reproduction because iso means similar and here fusion between two similar gametes is occurring that is called isogamous reproduction second type of reproduction is anisogamous reproduction so from the name itself you can understand that the gametes are not similar so they are dissimilar their morphology is different this is big enough this is small so both of them are having flagella they are motile but they are dissimilar in size and shape so fusion between two such gametes is called anisogamous reproduction the example you will see it in eudorina and one more type of reproduction you can see that is oogamous reproduction in this type of reproduction this is the female gamete and the female gamete is very large it is non motile because it does not have any flagella so here this is the female gamete and the male gamete you can see this is very small it is having the flagella so it is motile and the fusion between two such gametes is called oogamous reproduction the example you can see it in volvox fucus etc now we will talk about the most important part of algal reproduction so here you have to understand and by heart something like in algae a multicellular haploid gametophyte alternates with a multicellular diploid sporophyte so this is the thing you have to understand always in and you have to remember always that the gametophyte will be always haploid and the sporophyte will be always diploid okay so let's see this now the gametophyte so what i have told that the gametophyte is haploid always so the gametophyte that is containing in that is haploid so this plant undergoes mitosis this plant undergoes mitosis and generates male and female gametes so from the name itself you can understand gametophyte gametophyte means it will produce gametes male and female gametes and gametes are here produced by mitosis and you know that after mitosis the chromosome number remains same right the chromosome number remains same after the mitosis so the gametes are also haploid because the gametophyte was haploid and the gametes are also haploid because they are produced after mitosis so this is the first step this is the first step that male and female gametes are produced now two such gametes two such gametes will fuse they will fuse to generate a zygote so here the zygote is formed after the fusion of two such male and female gametes and the zygote is 2n or diploid because the gametes are haploid and they are fused to form the diploid zygote so this is the next step and next we will see that this zygote undergoes mitosis or mitotic cell division to produce this adult so this zygote basically the zygote will undergo mitosis or mitotic cell division and uh, they will grow into adult that is called sporophyte so the adult is called sporophyte that is also diploid or 2n because the zygote was 2n and it is undergoing mitosis so the sporophyte that is formed after the mitosis will remain the same chromosome number that's why it is also diploid now this adult sporophyte this adult sporophyte undergoes meiosis so here it will undergoes meiosis and generates haploid spores why they are haploids because we know that after meiosis the chromosome number becomes half the chromosome number becomes half so these spores these spores are produced from the sporophyte after meiosis 
and the sporophyte was diploid so the spores will be haploid so this is the story now what will happen germination will occur and germination will occur and on germination each spore undergoes mitosis again or mitotic cell division and grows into adult that is called the gametophyte so the gametophyte is again n because the spores are continuing mitosis and after mitosis gametophyte is formed and the chromosome number remains same so the gametophyte is n because the spores were also n now this cycle from gametophyte to sporophyte or you can say from sporophyte to gametophyte so this cycle is called alternation of generation alternation of generation this is the cycle that is called alternation of generation